Hey guys, so today I'm going to be playing Fire. This is an interesting point-and-click adventure puzzle game. So you play as this caveman here. Let's go ahead and delete my save and start again. Here we go. There's some really nice music and the art style is pretty cool as well. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not <laughs> That was kind of weird. Was he mad because the fire went out? Lots of colors going on here. Very interesting. Alright, so I need to get this apple. Can't reach it. Okay, so I need to go back here. And go up here. <laughs> they threw a bone at me. I can throw this bone back at them and get a coin, although I'm not really sure what the coins are for. Woo. So I'm, I need this bone to uh, get the apple. I played this part before, so I know what to do. If I throw the bone at, up at, at it, the uh, snake will catch it and then poop it out. Poop. So what I need to do is go over here, pick up this trident. Then I need to stab the tail. And now I can use the bone to get the apple. And now let's get it. Uh-oh, he's tripping out. I guess that was a, uh, not a very good apple. <laughs> What is going on here? I like all the bright colors going on. So he's obviously tripping out way too much. Uh-huh. So there's a coin up there. Can I click on it? Yep. Okay, I got another coin. Okay, so what do I do next? It says... I guess we need to keep going forward. Oh, what was that? That was weird. Okay, so this lowers and raises this uh, pedestal here. Oh, there's a coin. So maybe I need to walk over here. And then go up. <laughs> what the heck? It's like a tentacle that comes out. Like a teleporter? Mm. Alright, so it's like going on to the next level. This is a huge dinosaur. What is up here?
Oh, there's a tail over here. Okay, let's go stand on the tail. Oh, we're walking around the dinosaur. That's cool. Okay, so I'm, I have a guide pulled up, so I'm just gonna read on what to do. Go right, see three rocks spine on the dinosaur's body, and rope holding the curtain on the head of the dinosaur. Click the rope. Okay. What in the world? <laughs> okay, so it, I guess it's missing some skin here. Click on the red rope to see the brain in three cups. If the brain is pointing to the top left, the cup the mouth is closed and the nostrils are open. Uh oh. Okay. Here's the brain again and the tail at the left screen rises up. Okay. Go back to the left. And down the tail, go right to the dinosaur and into the mouth by clicking the air. Okay, so I guess I need to go back. Okay. I guess I'm going into the dinosaur. that guy back. What is this? Some sort of item. Alright, so inside the dinosaur. See the firefly inside the esophagus? Pick up the round green thing. See eight evil at top. Click on each one and see what they do. Okay. Click on the leftmost Ebola. Exit at left and see rope exposed by claw at bottom right. See rope exposed by claw on bottom right. I guess I'll have to click on that. It's the weirdest dinosaur. Curtain is open. Click the brain to point at top left cup. Okay, so what did that do? Okay. Pull the rope, curtain is open. Click the brain at the top. The nostril that inhaled the firefly is open. I just do. <laughs> okay, so let me uh, pause this for a second and scroll down. Not really sure what I'm doing here. Okay. Okay, click on the nostril to use the green thing on the open nostril. I did that. Pull the red rope at the bottom right and then get the brain to point at the top right again. Okay, so I have to pull the rope at the bottom right. Top right. Okay. So now let's go back and let's go back inside. Oops. Okay, so the green thing is now inside the esophagus, so now what? I need to... Okay. Enter the mouth and see the firefly passing the flipping cover to be the inner part of the dinosaur. Exit. Click on... Even with the guide, this game is really complicated. What's going on here? Okay, it says... Pull the red rope at bottom right and then... 
get the brain to point at top right again. Into the mouth and see the flower pipe passes the flipping cover to be at inner part of the dinosaur. Exit. But it's not passing for some reason. Why isn't it passing? Go back and go back to the dinosaur and then pull the red rope to the top right again. Oh wait. Okay, it says... Pull the red rope at the bottom right again. Get the brain to point at the bottom cup. The tail is raised. Okay. We have the pulse rope again. Okay, the tail is raised. Go left and see the firefly is now expelled with dinosaur's rear end. Well, here's the green thing. I'm supposed to select this green blob and throw it down the nostril. Alright. Let's go back inside and see what's going on here. There we go. Now it pushed along. Okay, that just took me a little, a little while to figure out. Is this? I don't even know what that was. Okay, so now I need to get the tail, and then I think we'll fly out. Okay. See the right rock spine move. Click on the right rock in the middle, then the left rock. Okay, in the middle, then the left rock. Go down and go back to the dinosaur. Oh, here it is. Finally. <laughs> that took me a lot longer than I thought it would. Sorry for the wait. Okay, on the level three. Who is this guy? Because he's doing a rain dance. Okay, click on the native holding a wand and see it do a rain dance. There's going to be a raindrop rock. Get. Number one coin, left of tent by leaf. Left of... Oh, there it is. Go right, see two rocks that block the path. If you push the pot at the top of the hill, there is a closed tent. Sun, a dirty stone pillar left of the tent, and a raindrop rock. Okay, so... You push the pot at the top of the hill. This one? Got stumped by a rock. Okay. Go right, see sleeping elephant, the firefly, and raindrop rock, and meet right of the two holes. Okay, so here is the raindrop. I need to get the raindrop. And meet right of the two holes. There's the. Wait. Is this the meet? Uh oh, I just fell down the hole. <laughs> get the meat on bone. Click on meat to get. Oh, to move to the meat. Wait, where's the meat at? What the heck is that thing? That looks like a club.
Oh, I see. I need to time it. There we go. So I got the club. And now I guess I need to go back. Okay. I need to pause it one more time. Let's click down. Now I need to get the rain dance one. Go left and click on the sun to change it to night. <laughs> That's interesting, because I'm God. Go left, and then Ada should be sleeping. Yep. Alright, click on Gong. <laughs> oh no, we killed him. Or a murderer. He's just laughing. Okay, I got the rain dance wand. Okay, stars. Go right, see the column right of the tent is dirty. Is this a tent? The column? Alright, right here. Mm -hmm. The cursor on top of the dirt in the column to clear it. See five holes at night time. Click on second. Okay, to clear this, I see five holes. Click on the second, third, and fourth from the right stars to light up three holes on the column to white color. Second, what, what did I read? Second, third, and fourth? No, that's not right. Click on the second, third, and fourth from right stars. Oh, from the right. Um. There we go. So now there's three lit up. I think that's right. While holding the one, click on raindrop rock to do a rain dance. Alright. This would be so hard to solve <laughs> without a guide. I'm just struggling, just reading the guide. Okay, so now it's raining. Or it was. Now, t now that the tent is opened... Wait, did the tent open? Exposes more stars. Click on the second and third from left stars to light holes. Okay. Second and... Did I say third? And there we go. Okay, the tent is now open. Now the tent is open, click on all stars to change the light to red and get third coin. Take the flower from the pot inside the tent. Use flower pot on the path. On the path? Oh yeah. Use flower on pot on the path. Oh, up here. This doesn't even look like a pot. <laughs> okay. Move the pot to left screen. Oops, I think I just screwed up here. I don't know. Click on the moon to change it to day, or do that. Put the tail of the elephant at the right of the screen and it wakes up. The rocks. Okay, that was kind of loud. Do I have to time this?
Okay, it says... Click on the pot with flower. The two rocks block the path of the pot. Watch the two rocks. When both rocks are out of the path, click on the sun to change it to nighttime. Oh, man. Oh, come on. So I have to wait until they're both off the path. But they kind of lag behind a little bit, so I need to do it a little bit early. Oh, come on. Like, they were... Okay, this is going to be a bit hard. I have to do it early. There we go. There we go. Okay, I did it. Okay, so now I, I can move this and the rocks will stomp on it. This would be absolutely impossible for me to figure out without this guide. I'd be so confused. Really interesting art style though, I like it. And the uh, music is pretty good too. Okay. Go to the screen, hold the wand, click on the raindrop rock. Okay. Oh wait, I need the, the wand. Where's the wand at? There it is. Tree trunk to drop the fruit. Pick up the fruit. Get the firefly. The firefly is under a cover. Hold on the fruit, click on the trunk of the elephant. Okay, so I put fruit in the elephant. Pull on the tail of the elephant. There we go, so now there's a hole. Pull on again to move the cloud. And now I need to go down. I need to get my stick. Get the rain going. Oh wait, okay. I thought I was too far away. There we go. Hooray! On to level four. These puzzles are extremely complicated. I mean, like who would have thought I had to do all that just to get that little orb thing out of there? Or firefly, that's what they are. Just kind of exploring this new area. Alright, so this video is about 24 minutes long. I'm gonna stop it here. You get a general uh, idea of what this game is about. It's just a point and click game with a lot of challenging puzzles and very interesting uh, artwork and design. I, I like it. It's pretty cool. But Obviously, the puzzles are so challenging. I would expect almost everyone to use a guide to figure out what to do here. Those little birds. Oh, that's a huge bird. Alright, so I'm going to end this video here. Just This was just a quick look. Um, if you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to check this game out on Steam. I'll leave a link in the description below, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day.